Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I wanted to talk about the champion teaser trailer that we got yesterday, the one for Pike the Blood Harbor Ripper, who is looking like he's going to be our newest champion. So obviously we don't have any information on the character whatsoever, but I still wanted to take this time to kind of break down my initial thoughts, what he might be doing in-game, and how Riot are going to make a character like this work in the support slot. Because remember... Pike is supposed to be a support champion. So, it's really weird because obviously Thresh is kind of a darker champion as well. His whole shtick is hooking you, killing you, and then tormenting your soul for all eternity. You know, that sort of thing. So, I totally understand that, but... It's still weird to see how Pike is going to work because he doesn't have anything that you could readily see as being supportive. So, like, Thresh obviously has his chains and his hooks. The Lantern was a bit of a weird thing, but sure, that could do something supportive. I would have probably guessed the shield if I'd have known about the Lantern in advance. Uh, maybe not the pull to safety, but I at least would have guessed the shield, something supportive there. But the hook, obviously, is something that support champions have had for a long time. That's why Blitzcrank supports a thing, that's why Nautilus supports a thing, because of the power of the hook. So, it was clear that Thresh was going to be a support champion. Pike, however, is a little different, because he doesn't have a very obvious hook. Now... I think we can gather from here that his primary weapon is going to be that long serrated knife he's got going on. And potentially he might have either a net or sort of those mass of, uh, of like rigging ropes that he's got holding. And especially you can see where he's drowning the guy. That guy's all wrapped up in ropes. I'm guessing that has something to do with Pike's kit. So it may not necessarily be a hook per se, but it does seem like one of his abilities could be throwing the sort of bundle of cables at enemies and wrapping them up or maybe pulling them in or slowing them, something along those lines. It does feel like that's an ability he might have. Now, the rest of Pike's kit is really weird because I'm not sure exactly how he's supposed to be a support. Pike, as a character, really wants to be killing the hell out of a lot of people. And especially with that big, long knife, obviously it needs to be featured somewhere in his kit, but how is it going to be featured as... A supportive tool as opposed to just a straight-up murdering tool that's gonna be the weird uh, the weird thing for me and it's gonna be interesting to see how riot make a character like this who's just a ghostly serial killer into a supportive champion now obviously this is just all looking at the teaser so any number of this information could be wrong but it does look like he's kind of gliding through the floor at one point there you can see his knife sticking up like a shark fin so I'm wondering if Pike isn't either stealthed having some sort of stealth mechanic to help him uh, sneak up on enemies and maybe get the drop, or sort of a shadow step-like mechanic that Kane already has, allowing him to walk through walls or other terrain, but giving some kind of indication that he's nearby so enemies can try and run away. He also is looking more and more like a ghost, the ghostly hand and ghostly knife holding the dude underwater at the about the midway point in the video. It does look like Pike is part ghost at the very least, so it could be something like he jumps inside enemy champions to debuff them or slow them or something along those lines. It would work really well with his ghostly self. It would help him support more because he could apply some kind of debuff, maybe do some damage over time. Not quite sure about that, but that could be another thing he does as well. Now, the biggest thing I kind of wanted to talk about for Pike is that a lot of people are actually saying maybe there's a connection between this guy and Nautilus. Now, if you're not familiar with Nautilus's old lore, Nautilus was basically a diver who was pulled, starting to get pulled into the water by some evil creature. And then, um, essentially, his crew cut the rope that was holding him to the ship and left him to die. Nautilus didn't die, though, and he kind of came back to try and get revenge on the people who let him kind of fall into the de depths of the ocean for dead. Now, this is very, very similar to Pike. Obviously, Pike was tossed into the water and was eaten by some kind of big kraken monster, but either survived somehow or came back as a ghost or something. We're not quite sure yet. Obviously, we don't have any details. But it's very, very similar because Pike is coming back to try and get revenge on the people who killed him. Now, the difference is Pike doesn't know who killed him and who didn't. He's just kind of taking revenge on literally anybody from Bilgewater that he finds. So, obviously, that's a little different from Nautilus. But the point being is that they're both characters who were sacrificed by their crew, who survived anyways, and who are now coming back to achieve vengeance. Now, this means one of two things to me. Either Pike has a connection to Nautilus, as a lot of people are saying. Some people are saying that Pike is potentially the spirit of Nautilus, who's divorced from his body, and Nautilus is just kind of the flesh animating a suit of, uh, suit of diving equipment, which could be the case, but I'm not entirely sold on that because it seems like it would just be... It would, you have two characters who are too similar to each other, especially because they both have the same nautical theme. 
Instead, I think this has something to do with the updated Nautilus lore, which posits him as more of like a serviceman to Nagake Boros, at least as far as the, the inhabitants of Bilgewater know, who's some kind of, I guess, ferryman for Nagake Boros, who pulls people down and sacrifices them to the bearded lady. That's kind of where they're going with Nautilus so far. Now, obviously, we don't know if that's canon or not. That's just his current updated blurb on the client. But it could possibly be the direction they're taking him in. And instead of just removing the revenge story entirely from League of Legends, giving it to Pike instead. Now, which one came first is a bit of a chicken and egg question. It could be that they said, this story is really cool for Pike and Nautilus already has it, so we'll change Nautilus. Or it could be the case where they said, we are going to be changing Nautilus because we just don't know how to make this giant diving suit work in the lore of League of Legends. And here come along Pike. Well, hey, ghostly mass murderer, this totally works for him. So, it's not entirely clear yet to me how that all slots together. But very clearly, it is similar to Nautilus. I'm looking forward to seeing how Riot actually talk about that and say which, you know, basically which came first and where they take Nautilus from in the future. Because I, I can almost guarantee he won't be getting his sort of revenge storyline back. As far as Kit goes, like I said, really interested to see where they take Pike. I am really hoping that he's playable in more positions than just support. I would love to see this champion played in some place like the jungle or maybe even the mid lane as sort of an assassin, just because he looks really cool and I would love to walk around and be a ghostly murderer stabbing people. That would be really cool, but we'll have to see. Obviously, generally, Riot try to position supports to be just supportive and pretty much nothing else. Obviously, Tom Kench is a bit of an exception because he was intended to be a top laner and Ally Devour ended up being really good. So, we'll see. I'm just really excited for Pike. Let me know what you guys are thinking of Pike or anything he might do in his actual in-game kit down in the comment section below. We should be getting... Uh, the update for Pike, the reveal for Pike on this coming Monday or Tuesday, so look forward to that. But in the meantime, let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. And if you're looking for Gravel Lantern content, you can check out my blog, link down in the description. I upload an article just about each and every single day for your enjoyment. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will talk to you all later.